it's Mike from Party 4 Crafts back with you again. Pretty excited. I have a new laser here that I'm going to be testing for you on the channel. This is the new X-Tool P2 55 watt CO2 laser. It has some exciting features that I'm going to be testing out. Uh, I won't be testing it in this video. I'm waiting for the accessories to arrive. But I wanted to talk about some of the features that I will be testing and then get some feedback from you what else you would like to see tested. So one of the new features about this laser is everybody knows that the Glowforge and the GYK Cloud and the OM Tech Polar, they have a fisheye lens that you use for aligning things and fisheye lenses are what you need to get a picture this wide from only this high. But then they're not very well aligned and they try to use algorithms to fix it, but they don't always work properly. So the P2 from Xtool, it has a fisheye lens for an overall view. And then on the head, it has another camera that does close-ups that are flat and you can do your alignment with that close-up camera. So we'll see how that works. It also has an autofocus feature. Um, the Glowforge has set focus that seems to work pretty well. GYK Cloud um, set autofocus, but it's really you measure the thickness, subtract it from 17, type the number in, and click a button, and then it moves, and that's the autofocus. So this appears to have true, like one click autofocus. Um, it claims to have a 600 millimeter per second engrave speed, where GYK Cloud is 500 and Glowforge is about 140. But so far, looking at all the preset settings in the software, it seems like about 275 is as fast as you go. Because if you go too fast, no matter how good your laser is or how powerful your laser is, it doesn't come out dark enough. So for things like engraving the white off of whiteboard maybe you can go faster than that or if you just need to engrave the masking off of something and then you'll paint it and peel the masking off maybe you can go faster so we'll test that and see how it goes uh, it also has an automatic batch processing feature in the software that looks interesting and we'll give it a shot where if you have a bunch of earrings laid out and you want to engrave on them you can set your engraving on one and then click the batch processing and it'll automatically put them on all of them even if they're aligned at different angles and things like that so we'll try that out and see how it goes also, a lot of lasers have a pass-through feature, but it's kind of like you put it in there, it engraves, and then you hand move it and try to get it aligned again, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Their light burn has some features to help you align it. Glowforge uses the camera to align it. I think GYK Cloud, it, it's not mature enough to use because it doesn't have a red dot or any alignment features. So this one, the X-Tool P2, not only has the alignment feature, but it also has an auto feeder that has wheels on it that automatically feed the material through. So we'll see how that works. If it lives up to the hype, that could be pretty awesome. It has a rotary, so if you want to do tumblers or champagne glasses, uh, it'll have a rotary that will spin them all around as it engraves back and forth. We'll see how that works. The Glowforge doesn't have that at all, and the GYK Cloud, um, I had some issues with it. I, I had to move it three inches to the left to, to get it to engrave, and the text came out warped sometimes. Um, so we'll see how it comes out on the X-Tool P2, and I'll give you my, my honest opinion about it. But also, the X-Tool P2 has the ability to engrave on curved surfaces. Like if you had a football that you wanted to engrave on, the head will go up and down along the football to engrave on it. So it makes it less likely that you'll even need a rotary. Um, you could probably even do a tumbler. If you just want to put a small logo on a tumbler, you could do it without a rotary at all. And so that would that could save you hundreds of dollars if you don't have to buy a rotary because you're not doing full wraparound engraves on cylindrical objects. So we'll see how that works. Uh, I've seen some, some videos of how the process works, but we'll test 
test it out and see how it goes. We'll put the GY key, the Glowforge, and the Xtool side by side by side and run some projects on them and see how they compare. And then uh, I'll upload some videos. So in the comments or on the Facebook pages where I post these, let me know what else you've heard about Xtool that you'd like me to test and see how it works out. And I'll give it a shot and let you know. So keep watching. In the next week or two, I'll be uploading some actual videos, setting it up, running it, and testing those features that I just talked about and anything else that you put in the comments that you want to see. All right. So I look forward to, to testing this out and seeing how it goes. I'll see you soon.